everybody, I'm Michelle with Pretty Bloom. I am not gonna be in the video today, um, except I'm kind of a backdrop, aren't I? But I'm gonna do a video on how to remove or replace the uh, spring lock closures that um, some vintage coach bags have. This particular bag is the mini belt bag, um, style number 9826. I actually have a video on it. Um, not this particular one. I did one on a British tan. I will link that below if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these cute little bags. That bag has already sold, um, but this bag is available and will be available in my closet within a week or so of this video. So there's a couple reasons you might want to do it. Uh, uh, these spring locks go bad. Um, the video I did on the mini belt bag, I also kind of talked about how to properly open and close the uh, spring lock, but they go bad, so you might need to replace it. But another reason is, and I'm gonna post a picture here, um, this bag really didn't look bad at all, uh, but I typically remove most brass hardware um, if I can, uh, especially if I want to shine it up. In this one, it was really tarnished um, and I definitely wanted to clean it. So I took off the spring lock and here's a picture of what was underneath and it was a lot of verdigris, which is not good for the leather. It's not good for the hardware. So um, yeah. Okay, so first things first, I've already removed it, but this is gonna be the easier part. Um, well, I guess the first things first is I gotta tell you the tools, which are gonna be the snap ring pliers, okay? And you don't need all of these. In fact, if you just had one, I would get one with uh, an angle on it, but they actually come in a pack of three, uh, so you're not gonna just buy one. I'm just saying if you have them laying around the house, really you just need this baby here. But um, they come in a pack of three typically, and they run around five to six dollars. Again, they're called snap ring pliers, nothing fancy. But um, what you're gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead, you see how the leather's perforated and it's because there's these little prongs here. You're gonna line that up so that I'm not creating any more perforations in the leather. Um, I don't think I really need to show you how to do that, it just is what it is. And, and then you're gonna take this backing here and you're just gonna twist it on, righty tighty. These are righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm gonna do as much as I can with my fingers. And then I'm gonna take, because I have both of them, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the straight snap ring pliers. I'm gonna insert them into the two holes here and I'm gonna tighten it up. Yeah, so to remove uh, this part, you're just going to do lefty loosey and you're going to take your snap ring pliers and you're going to loosen it up here on the back side without moving this front part. This part stays stationed because as you could see, there are prongs in there and that is digging into the leather. So that is nice and secure. I don't need to show you how to remove that, um, but this is a little trickier part. So you see there are two holes here, right? But this is gonna be the exact same as the front part of a flat. There are prongs on the back part of this piece and they are digging into the leather. So you definitely don't wanna move this or you're gonna tear the leather. But if you look inside the back part of it, there are holes too. And there's actually a lot of holes, which makes it a little easier. Okay, so that's where the angled snap ring pliers come in a little handy. And um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to show you. I'm not a vid videographer, obviously. But um, I'm going to loosen it up and I'm going to hold the front part as stationary as possible. So I'm going to go lefty loosey. Sorry, it's hard, it's not easy. Take your time. and gently put the prongs inside and just loosen it up. So you're just gonna have to keep on taking it. Um, and uh, the pliers off and putting them into different holes, just to slowly 
loosen that baby up. Let's see if it's loose enough for me to get it with my fingers, and it's not. But it is moving a lot easier now, and I can just do one hold. There it is, and it popped out. Okay. So that's what these pieces look like, your male portion and your female portion here, right? Um, I'm just going to show you how it looks if you put it on without uh, having the leather in between. And you see how it just kind of screws on there like that, okay? So let's undo that. And... Do, do, do. This part again is going to need to stay stationary because it's got the prongs, right? So you'll line it up onto the front part of your bag. And in this case, oops, um, I am going to put the tin upright. There's a little tin on this one. So I line it up, trying to make sure I'm not getting any new indentions. And, um, and this is a little harder because this really has to be pushed in and started. So you're gonna push it in and you gotta get it started with your hand. Otherwise you're not gonna just slowly take your thumb and front finger and you're just gonna tighten it up. Yep, I'll probably take a little bit of practice but tighten it up as much as you can. Once you get it started, it's pretty good. And then you'll take your pliers and you will tighten it down further to secure it. Again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And just be gentle because you can scratch. I mean, brass can be buffed out, but you know, you probably already cleaned it. It's a, you don't want to have to do that. All right, and that is nice and secure. All right. Yep, so there you go. There you have it. Your uh, spring lock, dirty or broken, you can remove them on your own with some cheap tools, okay? Snap ring pliers, mini belt bag. 9826. I think this is forest green. Not positive about that, but uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more bag talks and uh, some more rehab videos. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.